Isang Bassi going undrafted was a bit of a surprise with the ball skills he showed in college, but the Denver Broncos being able to snag him was a good move for the team. At only 21 years old, he'll be 22 in August, there's a lot of time left. Defensive backs typically start declining at 30, giving this corner out of Wake Forest 8 years if he manages to pan out. While at Wake Forest, he had a really good career where he displayed good ball skills consistently. His big knocks were tackling being inconsistent, and his size. What helps make him such a good fit for the Broncos is that he is a natural fit in the Vic Fangio scheme of playing off coverage and keeping plays in front of him. The Broncos were a team lacking takeaways, and his ball skills, if he makes a team, can really help the Broncos out in that area. Getting more takeaways will help out the Broncos offense a lot. There is a chance for him to make the roster because he is just such a natural fit in the scheme, especially at slot corner, where Denver doesn't have many options to play there. Bryce Callahan is the top slot corner and Duke Dawson and Kareem Jackson can play there, but Bassey's the only other natural slot corner on the roster. With Callahan's health concerns, Bassey's chances are increased. Denver has a knack for finding undrafted free agent talent and Bassey could be the next gem, which would also be really beneficial for the Broncos. This is one player to definitely keep an eye on. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Eric Trickle.